Hannah Lee 428 asks, did you take any weight loss pills in the past? I'm assuming you mean fat burners, and yes, I tried a lot of them. I struggled with weight my whole life, and I tried a whole bunch when I was in high school. What I found was, they didn't actually help me burn fat. They mostly made my stomach sick, and they made my heart race. Um, they do contain caffeine, so they may give you a little more energy to move your body, but other than that, they contain appetite suppressant, but I had emotional eating, so appetite suppressant didn't really work for that because it wasn't about the food for me. Any weight loss pill, fat burner, it's not magic. What works is you have to be in a calorie deficit. So your diet has to be on point and moving your body also helps. Ladybug Tammy says, what's the best exercise for your arms? I'm having problems right now that I've lost the weight. I have loose skin hanging on my arms. My favorite, and she also mentions there that she only has light weights. My favorite things to do, I either use dumbbells, like five pounds, or a water bottle like this, two of them. Um, bicep curls, two sets of 15. Tricep kickbacks, which are working the triceps. And then lateral raises, which work the shoulders. And I found that sort of toned my whole arm up. And I'm a big dude and me and Nicole both train relatively light. So don't worry about training heavy. Now, light dumbbells is cool or water bottles, whatever you got. It's more focused on uh, squeezing the muscle. Exactly, yeah. Jalisandra, sorry if I said that wrong. How do you get motivated to start your weight loss? I can't get motivated to start. So I was diagnosed with sleep apnea and Sassy, my husband Kyle, was diagnosed with type two diabetes and that really motivated both of us to get started on our journey. But also I found in the past when trying different diets, if I wasn't motivated, it was because I didn't like what I was doing. So when I like what I'm eating and I like what I'm doing for exercise, that means I don't need motivation because I just look forward to doing it and look forward to eating my food. Yeah, if it seems like a chore, it's usually like we were forcing ourselves to like do all of our cardio on the treadmill and it was getting boring, so we go outside. Yeah, so if you're not motivated, try changing stuff up, try eating foods that you really like, and that might help. The unknown of knowing <laughs> how to control your sweet tooth. What I found is if I have a sweet tooth, give myself my sweet craving, usually in a low calorie form, like I really like fiber one bars, I like kid cereal because you can eat quite a bit of it for low calories, any low calorie cookies, often kids treats, they're already portioned out and they're fairly low calorie. So I, I literally just give myself any craving I have, I just try to fit it into my daily calories. Also the guilt-free cookbook. <laughs> Susie QZ, portion control requires a great amount of willpower. How do you and Sassy stay committed? So in the beginning, it was, it was pretty tricky because we had emotional eating underneath, but we chose foods that we really liked and we pre-portioned everything out. We also bought single serving packages so that when we were finished, it was done. We also labeled our food so that I would label Sassy's with his, mine with mine, so that when I was done my portion, I wouldn't eat his because it was his. We also, for a time, a period of time, we didn't buy any extra food because if it was in the house, we didn't have self-control. So sometimes you just gotta remove the food from the house. And, and if you can't remove it from the house, putting it in the freezer or in a cupboard, out of sight, out of mind, that also helped. Kelzib says, top tips for not overeating. Portioning out your food and a lot of low calorie, high volume foods really help because it fills up your belly while eating in a lower calorie amount. So like popcorn, full of fiber, you can eat a lot of it for few calories and lots of fiber filled foods, fruit, veggies, Eating a lot of those things will fill your belly up and help you not go overboard on the other things. Like strawberries are 50 calories a cup, I For think. For a cup, yeah. So imagine like trying to eat hundreds and hundreds of calories of strawberries. That's, no one could do it. Watermelon too is the same amount of calories for a cup and you cannot like overeat on that. It's like, it really fills your belly up. 
Oh, also drinking water with your meals fills your belly up as well, and you're less likely to overeat that way. Annika Briggs says, how can I motivate my husband to join me in getting healthy, or is it better to focus on myself and hope he joins? So what we've learned is you can't force anybody to join you, but you can be the role model. So if you start loving what you're eating, loving what you're doing for exercise, you're being consistent and you're getting results, other people might see you and go, wow, I wanna do that. She looks like she's having fun. That's what Sassy and I try to do, like show that we have fun doing it, show that we love what we're eating, love what we're doing for exercise. And then when people see we're having fun, they wanna join too. So that might be your husband see you do that and then he wants to get results too. Like some of the resistance me and Nicole had was because the mainstream fitness diet industry, they push like self torture. Like a lot of the workouts that are popular look yeah. horrible. And they're probably really hard. A lot of the food that they push is awful and it doesn't taste good. And so that what, what for us was like some of the resistance in starting, we thought that you had to eat special food or do special workouts. You don't, you can eat what you like in a calorie deficit, like we said, and just move your body. And another thing is a lot of people think they have to give up everything in order to lose weight or go on a weight loss journey. And once they realize that they can really love what they're doing and still carry on with the same life they've always had, they just eat a little less, then they're like, oh, okay. And then they start doing it. If he tries some of our guilt-free cookbook recipes. He, yeah. He's, you'll you'll convert them. Oh, this is dieting? I don't even feel like it. We have like a low calorie Big Mac in there and like all kinds of good food. Teutonic71 says, what are your favorite things about living where you do? What is your dream vacation? What are your favorite movies and TV shows? Favorite things about living here is the different weather. We love the fall, the winter. Um, my dream vacation i'm italian like sicilian so one day i would like to go to italy if i could and eat like all the food there and uh, pasta and pizza especially favorite tv shows i would have to say twin peaks and the twilight zone we've been watching those over and over for a while now when i was younger like in high school buffy the vampire slayer was my favorite my favorite movies of all time uh, mall rats, <laughs> the cutting edge. Those are like my favorite favorites since I was little and Beetlejuice. Sherry underscore 59 says weight loss plateaus, how to break through them without decreasing calories and losing motivation. The only way that I know how to break through a plateau is by changing up the food usually pulling back but you don't have to do it crazy just a little bit like if you're eating you know say three slices of bacon for breakfast just have two instead just very slight change up your workouts or add a little more cal sorry add a little more cardio first if you want to try that before you decrease your calories a so bit. yeah you only you only have two options eating less or moving more me and nicole always always pick moving, moving more. more so that doesn't have to be like something boring, like, you know, an extra walk around the block or playing Nic with your kids. Nicole's kids. just before we filmed, she's dancing all over the place. And I said, uh, people think you only do this on camera, so they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, put on YouTube your favorite music and dance around. Whatever. Like, literally, if you put on two songs on YouTube, there's like, you know, almost 10 minutes of extra cardio, but you're just dancing. I. I burn calories doing that all the time. <laughs> so if it's something fun, then it won't feel like, you know, punishment. And again, if you love what you're eating, you're more likely to be more motivated to do it. And if it's something fun, like Kyle said, workout wise, you're more likely to want to do it without losing motivation. So the friends hope this helped you. If you want to know exactly how Kyle and I lost our first and next 50 pounds, because we've lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for seven years. We got two weight loss guides. The links are down below. We also have a brand new guilt free cookbook, all low calorie versions of your favorite foods. So you get the taste without the guilt and extra calories. We also have fancy supplements by Huddled, harder than last time. If you want, the links are all down below for all of that stuff. Check it out or watch these two videos for free to 
watch how you can make weight loss so fun and love it. And now I'm about to burn some calories and lawn more out. Rawr, rawr. And shake your beam, PG for YouTube. Shake your beam and shake your beam and shake your beam. The friends, if you would like questions, if you're enjoying this video and you would like your questions answered, be sure to follow us on Instagram because that's where we posted it. The posty so that you can get your questions answered at the collects on Instagram. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.